Hallelujah and praise the name of the Lord. I am delighted this morning once again as I share about salvation. We started on Monday and we say that salvation is meant for all, but it takes a person who will accept the gift of salvation and receive the gift of eternal life. And we said on Tuesday that salvation can only come through Jesus Christ. We said that Jesus is the source of salvation. And yesterday we said that now is the time of salvation. We said now is the appointed time of favor. And now is the day of salvation. And I want us to continue learning about salvation. And today we are going to look at the word of God from the book of Romans 10, Romans 10 verse 9. And this is what the word of God says. I will start from verse 8. But what does it say? The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith we are proclaiming. It says in verse 9 that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It says, I will repeat from verse 9, that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. We say that Jesus is the way of salvation. Jesus is the source of salvation. And now we are at how do we receive the gift of salvation that Paul is saying and is writing in the book, of, is writing to the church of Romans. And he's saying that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So it is one thing to believe in your heart and it is another thing to confess with your mouth so that you may receive the gift of salvation that has been released to all. And verse 13 says, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. When you confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord and you believe with your heart, you will receive the gift of salvation. This is the how to receive the gift of salvation. On Monday we said who is meant for salvation. We said everyone is meant for salvation. On Tuesday we said that who is the source of salvation. We said how, how, how to receive our salvation. We say that Jesus is the way to salvation. We said that he is the source of salvation. We said yesterday when is the time of salvation. When is the time of salvation. We said now. Now is the time of salvation. Now we are looking at how do we receive. How do we receive the gift of salvation. And we have said and we have seen in the word of God. That if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord. And be believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That, is, that, that means or that is to say that when you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth, it is one thing to believe and it is another thing to confess. You cannot just believe and just keep quiet without proclaiming salvation or receiving the gift of salvation. Because everyone that has 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 son, the Bible says he has a testimony. So you cannot receive Jesus in your heart and just continue being quiet. We will not know that you have received the gift of salvation. So we have said it is one thing to believe and it is another thing to confess. Then you cannot confess if you have not believed. It is it is by confession that we will know that you have received the gift of salvation when you have first believed in your heart. That when you believe that God raised him from the dead. That is to say that you believe in the death of Jesus, you believe in resurrection and you believe that God raised him from the dead and he's seated at the right hand of God of the, the Father that is to say that you have believed you have confessed the gift of salvation and, 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 and by that, that is when now we can say that this person has received the gift of salvation this person has given their lives to Jesus and so I am just emphasizing that this is how to receive the gift of salvation. This is how to receive the gift of salvation. It is confession of our mouth that Jesus is the Lord. It is believing in our hearts that God raised him from the dead that we will be saved. So we cannot receive the free gift of salvation without confessing with our mouth and without believing in our hearts. And now it says in, that, in verse 13, 
that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone, everyone. That points us to the first scripture that we looked at in the book of First Timothy uh, uh, chapter 2. It says that, uh, that it is the will of God for all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the word of truth. And it says now in Romans 10 verse 13 that for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord, everyone, that is to say there is no exception when it comes to salvation, but everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone, every age, every tribe, you know, everybody who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Everyone who confesses with their mouth and everyone who believes in their heart that God raised him from the dead, from the dead shall receive the gift of salvation. I believe that you're getting blessed by these daily insights. And on behalf of Pastor Lucy Painter, my name is Anita Flo. I believe that we are learning a lot about salvation, about the forgiven, uh, forgiveness of sin, and about receiving the free gift of salvation that is meant for everyone. So every time you meet a person and you're telling them about Jesus, and some people will tell you that salvation is not meant for them, kindly, kindly remind them that salvation is meant for everyone for it is the will of God for all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the word of truth and everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved we will continue tomorrow as we we, we look at salvation in another dimension and we will continue to learn about how and and, and, and who is meant for salvation I believe that we are getting blessed and the Lord will continue to teach us more through the help of the Holy Spirit. My name is Anita Flo. The Lord bless you and do you good. Amen and amen.